The Divine Masculine bolsters his ego with an entourage. The Divine Masculine has a huge ego that's based in the Matrix and the 3D and feels as though he needs a huge harem or collective worshipping and following and giving him all the validation he feels that he needs because he feels empty. Whereas the Divine Feminine, she rides solo. She doesn't need any acceptance or validation. She doesn't need to do anything to get anything. She is fulfilled from within, spiritually from God. However, the tables turn. The Divine Feminine has a lot of knowledge. The Divine Feminine has a lot of wisdom. There comes a time when the Divine Feminine must come out of her hermit nun mode of focusing within where she must give that energy and that teaching and wisdom to the world. When the polarities switch and flip, the Divine Masculine becomes a hermit, a monk. The Divine Masculine goes inwards and heals and the Divine Feminine does the external work.